Well, we are stocking up today. We got the ethanol containers. Yes, I'm stoked. So we're gonna go pick up 10 gallons of ethanol today. Uh, I got these BP Racing, I guess, fuel containers on Amazon. Showed up in like two days. They showed up way quicker than I thought they would. So I'm also gonna fill the car back up with ethanol also while I'm on JBLM. So this will be fun. I'm like super stoked to pick those, or like to fill them up. Don't know why. Excited to spend money for some reason. Weird. So the, I'm gonna swing out to JBLM. Not gonna record the drive out there because I don't like filming going on to the military installation. But once I'm on there, I'll bust out the camera and we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about, about some of the ethanol stuff, pricing, and then we're gonna go bug. We're gonna go bug Melanie and I think Sam. Cause I think they're doing stuff at Matt's house today and I have nothing else going on for the rest of the day. So, let's hop in the car and uh, go pick up some ethanol. First, camera. No, camera bag should go in the trunk. Uh, let me set the camera down. That's not going nowhere. Yo, if you're bagged like I am, and you still put stuff in your trunk, grab one of these trunk hooks. It's like an OEM Subaru part. Pretty good. Hold my camera bag and other groceries and stuff back here. Same with this like net thing. Don't know. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Ah, go in your home. Well, once I get out to JBL, I'm gonna bust the camera out again, but I don't know, be like, 20 minutes my time, like four sec, five, five seconds, because the little transitions I put in are five seconds. So I'll see you in like five seconds. So I just got on base and it, it always like freaks me out coming here. I don't know why. I don't know. Brings back weird memories. Uh, let's start filling up uh, canisters and the car V85. Doesn't look too bad. It's like 257 a gallon. That's almost the same price as 92. Jeez. All right. There's one. There's two. No, I said no receipt. Remove nozzle. Sick. E85 really isn't too bad. It smells really nice. So I'm gonna get these two things filled up real quick. We'll get them capped back on, get them back in the car. We'll strap the GoPro on. We'll go drive around a little bit more. Car is filled up. This is gonna take forever. Okay, it's filling up quicker than I thought it would. Ah, I need to scoot that seat up. Dude, it's so windy. Whew. All right, there's five gallons. Oh, 10 gallons. Not terrible. Uh, we got we got about 19 gallons for about $48. So not too bad, actually. Ethanol content sitting at about 68% too, which is also pretty good. We got 10 gallons in the back. Uh, let me grab the GoPro. We'll get that strapped on and we will roll out of here. using the GoPro mic right now because I have the USR in the back with my other microphone set up, but man, ethanol is where it's at, dude. So we got up to an E70 blend, which I'm pretty happy with. That's pretty close to what we had on the tune. So if I wanted to go full send, we'd probably be right around 400 wheel horsepower right now. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be responsible adults, especially on a military installation, because I don't want to get pulled over by MPs. You know, there's something about driving around with like 10 gallons of very flammable liquid in the back seat, kind of freaks me out. Kind of freaks me out, but I mean, it's safe. Those are safe containers, I hope. I hate I-5. Hate it with a passion! I don't like trailers. So I've been debating just keeping it on ethanol. I mean, it's more fun on ethanol. The fuel burns cleaner, and honestly, my fuel mileage is over 20 miles a gallon, which actually is pretty good for ethanol. I really wanna like get on the car and play with it, but not with 10 gallons of ethanol in the back. I don't know, I don't think that's a good idea. Hello, friend. 
Runway WRX. Hey, you just got the car! I don't know you, but congrats! He appears to be enjoying his WRX. So, does anyone else's Subaru do this? Like, all of my previous Subarus have done this, where they just kick out a sh like a, a ton, like a ton of hot air down by the feet, even when like your fans are not on. Like, this is ridiculous. It's so hot! how people can't drive like you have your own lane you have your own yield it's not a yield it's not a stop you have your own lane just keep going if you want to change lanes use your blinker you have an out tail light cross tour trying to be a cross track cross tour i don't understand i don't understand it i literally don't understand how 70 percent of the people on the road get their driver's license it's like playing a stupid game of like frogger with everyone like i feel like i'm in a parking lot right now I'm not I feel like it crash into me, we all blow up. We all blow up, we all die. We don't want that. Like, don't try to cut me off either. Sorry, now I'm just ranting about bad drivers. It's like everyone in Washington almost. Actually, I'll say a solid 70% of people in Washington have no idea how to drive, but somehow got a driver's license. And I hate the people that like wait till last minute to try to get over into a lane. Like, you know where you're going, you've been here before, plan your route, know the lane you gotta get in. And fix your brake light. Like, what are you doing? You don't even know what lane you're going in. I know I'm not the only one that feels this way about other drivers. Don't, don't you even try. Woo! Got a car full of gasoline. What a cool looking Z. All right, let me swap to the USR real quick. Made it to the new house, actually, where, where we're gonna be living soon. So, got, got the ethanols, complained about the drivers, found Melanie. No bug people. Hello. Hello. You're going upside down. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I was afraid. Wait, 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 wait. You're fine. 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 Ah, oh, shit. You are. Yeah. Ah. Whoa, don't do it so fast. Wait, 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 wait. Let go. Let go. Don't drop me. I'm not going to drop you. I've got you. Tanner. Is this going to give you a vertigo if I it, go really fast? Yes, that's why I said don't go really fast. Was that fast? Ah, you started getting my hands. This thing still scares the Batman costume. Oh god. The, the ah! bat dog costume on Phoenix. Yeah. And she says, where did you hide it? Where is it? What are you doing to me? Melanie, what's the worst that happens if I go on this? Why would I break the camera? The camera is life. Two hands on the camera. Oh jeez. Oh god. I am legit upside down. Do you think I could vlog like this? Oh, my whole face is red. I look so chubby upside down. So chubby. I do have that <laughs> I can't. I, I need, I'm gonna flip back over. I've got comments to respond to. Oh. All caught up on comments. All right, I mainly just wanted to wait for traffic to die down before uh, going back home because I forgot traffic was a thing. So, responded to some comments, played on the little bendy weird table thing. Uh, I wanna go drop off this E85 back in the garage because I don't like having it hang out in the car. So I'm just gonna kind of magically teleport. I need to get past this bush, hang on. Oh, oh my God. Ah, ah. So I'm just gonna kind of magically teleport back to the house and uh, you'll like just happen to like bloop and then we'll be there, so. All right, we're back at the house. Ugh, it was like barely any traffic on the way down. 
which was nice. It's very, it's such a lovely day out today. So let me get this E85 unloaded out of the car. Let me get it stored up in the garage. But I'm excited to be able to just store E85 here. Like the canisters are, oh, why is the car locked? There we go. The canisters are much bigger than I thought. Ah, they're pretty heavy too, like five gallons. It's not the lightest. Let's see if I can do this one-handed holding the camera. Watch. If anything's going down, it's the camera. I ain't dropping the, I ain't dropping the special. Someone commented and called it wizard juice. I'm adopting that. Oh, fuel. We got our fuel back. It, these things are nice, dude. They even, oh, oops. They came with these like deluxe hoses as they call them. Honestly, it's just a hose. You take off the red cap on top, you screw it in, bada bing, bada boom. You can then fill up your car. So honestly, not bad. If anyone is interested in the part number on these, Boop, there it is. It is 35560. But I snagged these on Amazon. I got them in like two or three days. Pretty quick. Um, it came in a two pack for, I believe it was like 65, 70 bucks. And I specifically wanted the yellow ones just because uh, E85, corn, yellow. It's just, it's easier to remember so I don't get mixed up with any red gas cans that I might get in the future. So let me get these thrown in the garage and then uh, we'll, we'll, probably, we'll just wrap the video up. It's been a leisurely day. E85, not that big of a hassle as I thought it would be. Maybe make a trip out to JBLM once or twice a week. I really don't drive much. So yeah, a full tank of E will probably last me a week. That'll fill the car up again. Well, roughly it's 10 gallons. I think the gas tank's 16 gallons. So it'll get it pretty close, but I'm happy with it. Happy with the E switch. So I'm going to be incredibly busy the next couple, like, the week, next week, this next, uh, probably two weeks. Incredibly busy the next two weeks. Uh, we are moving next week. The house closes, it goes to the new owner of the house and uh, we are out of here. So it's gonna be a very, very bittersweet moment leaving this garage as it is, uh, it's been our place, it's where, they, it's where everything started. It's where everything started in this garage, but very excited for what is to come in the future. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna let something hold me back from continuing to pursue what I wanna do full time with my life. So I'm gonna miss the garage. We'll do like a, a montage to the garage before uh, before we leave here forever. So if I, if I take a little bit longer getting back to comments and messages, that is why we're moving. There's gonna be a lot going on. Um, I'm, pro I'm gonna be vlogging a lot of it because it is gonna be, it's, Probably gonna be some weirdly fun, stupid stuff going on, but we'll, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I can fit in the STI when it comes to moving because we're not about moving vans. We don't do that. We don't do that. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. I just wanted to do like a fun vlog style video today because it's been a, I don't know, a week or two since we've done a vlog. Um, there's gonna be a decent amount more of them coming during the move. Uh, once the move is kind of settled out and we're like settled in, we're gonna go back to normal schedule, normal stuff of installs. There's gonna be a lot of installs. Like right after we move, I get the money um, that I get from selling the house. We're ordering that turbo kit for the BRZ. I literally cannot wait. I've always wanted a turbo. <laughs> I've always wanted a turbo BRZ. Who knows, maybe we'll put it on flex fuel also now that it's relatively easy for me to get it. So we'll see what happens, but I'm stoked. I'm extremely, extremely excited to be able to move into this next phase of my life. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit that little thumbs up, turn it blue like that Subaru. Ooh. And if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you were, you can do that right up in one of a, a corner. I don't know what corner I'm gonna pick, but if you want to hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.